Good day everyone, I am Sheena Marie Albertine from BS Ed English 1A. For this portion of the video, let me and my partner Kriza take you back to the information age and know their history before we attain this advanced technology that we have right now. Let's start from the 3000 BC Sumerian's writing system used pectographs to represent words. Cuneiform was a writing system used in ancient Mesopotamia by Sumerians around 3500 BC. It is a syllabary system which means that every digit represents a sound or syllable. It started as a pectograph system, but the drawings became tedious and inconvenient. Therefore, they decided to simplify the strokes of these drawings into lines. Now, let's move on to the 2900 BC, the beginnings of Egyptian hieroglyphic writing. The word hieroglyph comes from the Greek hieros, meaning sacred and glyphos meaning words or signs and was first used by Clement of Alexandria. Egyptian hieroglyphs were the formal writing system used in ancient Egypt, used for writing the Egyptian language. Its combined logographic, syllabic, and alphabetic elements with some 1,000 distinct characters. Next would be the 1300 BC. Tortoise shell and oracle bone writing were used. Through the rich information recorded on the oracle bones or tortoise shells used as tablets by shamans of the Shang dynasty who wrote requests on them to royal ancestral spirits, asking for guidance on important events or information about the future. Next is the 500 BC papyrus roll was used. Do you know that paper made from papyrus was the chief material, writing material rather, in an ancient Egypt? It was adopted by the Greeks and was used extensively in the Roman Empire. It was not only for the production of books or in roll or scroll form, but also for correspondence and legal documents. Let's go to the 220 BC, where the Chinese small seal writing was developed. About 220 BC, the Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first to conquer the entire Chinese basin, imposed several reforms. Among them is the Lishi's character uniformization, which created a set of 3,300 standardized Shaoshuan, or what we call the small engraving spirit character, script rather, characters. It was specifically devised as a standardized system of writing under the first emperor of the Qin dynasty who reigned from 221 to 209 BCE. Next would be the 100 AD Book or Parchment Codex. The codex developed slowly throughout the ancient world. It is essentially an ancient book, consisting of one or more quires of sheets of papyrus or parchment folded together to form a group of leaves or pages. It turned out that books had a lot of advantages because you could also flip back and forth in a book or mark your place with a bookmark. About 10580, Woodblock printing and paper was invented by the Chinese. It is a technique for printing text, images, or patterns used widely throughout East Asia and originating in China in antiquity as a method of printing on textiles and later paper. Each page or image is created by carving a wooden block to leave only some areas and lines at the original level. It is these that are inked and show in the print in a relief printing process. Let's go to the year 1455 where Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press using movable metal type. Around 1450, Gutenberg created his own printing system using a hand-operated printing press and metal movable type which could produce far more copies than woodblocks, less deterioration. It is also a much quicker method than the earlier use of a woodblock for each page. 
the relatively limited number of Western alphabetical letters made movable type more practicable than it was with thousands of Chinese characters. In this portion of the video, let me introduce my partner, Kreza. Kreza, take it away, please. Hello everyone, this is Krisa Meganyete from BEZ English 1A. I will continue to discuss about the information age discussed by my partner, Sheena. To start with the year 1755, it is a Samuel Jensen's Dictionary Standardized English Spelling. The Samuel Jensen's Dictionary of English Language is one of the famous dictionaries in history. It is first published in 1755. The dictionary took over 80 years to compile, required 6 helpers, and listed 40,000 words. Each word was defined in detail, the definition illustrated with quotation covering every branch of learning. Next is year 1975. It is the Altair microcomputer kit and it was released first to the public. The MITS or the Micro Instrumental and Telemetry Systems 8800 is credited with having popularized microcomputers. This microcomputer was the first practical build it yourself computer kit and available to hobbyists. 1977 The Radio Shock It was introduced first as personal computer. In 1977, Lewis Cornfield, the former president of the Radio Shack division of Tandy Corporation, named Radio Shack's first computer the TRS-80. It is the Tandy Radio Shack computer with the Z-Log Z-80 microcompressor. Year 1984, Apple Macintosh computer was introduced. Macintosh often abbreviated as Mac computers first gained popularity among consumers with a famous commercial shown during the 1984 Super Bowl. Apple Macintosh revolutionized the entire computer industry by the year of 1984. Steve Jobs and his ingenious Macintosh team arranged for the computer to be used by the normal person in the street and not only by the expert. In 1980s, the artificial intelligence was separated from information science. The intellectual intelligence or AI is simulation of human intelligence. It is the simulation of human intelligence processed by manners, especially computer system. After AI winter duration, AI came back with expert system. Expert system were programmed that, that emulate the decision-making ability of human expert. In the year 1980, the first national conference of the American Association of Artificial Intelligence was held at Stanford University. Next. 1987, the hypercard was developed by Bill Atkinson recipe box metaphor. Hypercard is a software application for Apple Macintosh and Apple UGS computers. It's among the first hypermedia systems predating the World Wide Web. Hypercard combines a flat file database with a graphical, flexible, user capable interface it includes a built-in programming language called hypertalk for manipulating data and the user interface year 1991 450 complete works of literature in one cd room a cd room or compact disc read only memory is a type of computer memory in the form of a compact disc that is read only by optical means. A CD-ROM drive uses a low power beam to read digitalized binary data that has been encoded in the form of tiny bits on an optical disc. The drive then feeds the data to a computer for, for processing. 
January 1997, RSA Encryption and Network Security Software, the Internet Security Wide Crack for 48 bit numbers.